What's up everybody? Another video update. Spent a lot of time the last week figuring out an issue with Oculus Quest. Turns out that the joysticks were not working on Quest, uh, I guess for a while now on the demo, which I didn't know about. Um, I foolishly tested the Oculus Rift and just assumed it would also work on the Quest, uh, which I should never have assumed that. Um, it involved this um, third-party library I'm using for input. It's actually a bug in their system, so I had to work with them to sort that all out. Fortunately, it's all sorted out, and that is up in, in the demo, so the demo will work now with Quest. The playtest version still does not work with Quest because I've added a couple more things that have broken it a little bit, uh, and I'm waiting to fix those before I put up a new version in playtest. But it looks like from downloads, most everybody is downloading the demo anyway. So I'm not sure how much of an issue is um, on the playtest branch. But let me know if you're using the playtest branch and um, you know, on Quest and having an issue. I definitely want to fix that for you. So other than that, I've been doing some small bug fixes and tweaks. But today I was going to show some new level editor objects that I've added to agents. And this comes from some prototyping a couple weeks ago I did where you could fire different ammo from your gun, your blaster, that would create or destroy terrain in certain ways. And while I like the idea of it, there were some fundamental issues with going that direction with ammo. And I won't get into all of them, but it can be summed up with two major points of concern I had. Uh, one was it felt like it fundamentally changed the game from more about executing, um, you know, executing on, on, on platforming or parkour or climbing, um, you know, executing skill sets to do the top and then doing so quickly, overcoming ob obstacles, and then the, you know, idea of exhilaration over, say, hanging over something and kind of move that into more of uh, puzzle solving, like, making a, a decision on what I should do at this point in terms of what ammo. And that just felt at odds with the kind of tone and feeling that uh, I went for this game and what the game is building towards. Then the other issue is was more about level design. So how, how would a level designer, somebody making a level, uh, design a level around the, 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 the different types of ammo? Um, you know, I would have to determine how ammo is collected is it infinite and in that case it kind of breaks everything about the game uh, is it a resource you collect well if you you if you collect a resource you know how would you put it in the level and that just felt like too much it, it, like cognitive overload for designing uh levels at least around the the i the ideas of this game. I'm kind of getting off topic. So let's just let's just forget about that. I'd be happy to chat about it in the Discord if anybody's interested. But let's stop the rambling and just show off these these cool new features. So we have three. We have target sphere, we have target trail, we have target path. I'll just drop these out and then we'll play the level and see what they do. And they all involve around your bla being shot by your blasters. So we'll do a couple of spheres here. And what these will do is they'll create terrain when hit with a blaster. Another one here. Oh, then we have target path, which is similar in that it creates terrain when shot. However, this time it's going to draw terrain along a path. So we'll put them there and we'll put another one here and we'll mix it up this time. And instead of having you fire where the trail starts, you'll have to fire where the trail ends. And you'll see you can get some interesting forms of variety there. And then we'll have uh, a target trail up here, which is my favorite, and I think it's pretty cool. And you'll see what happens is you fire, and once your bullet passes through this placeholder blue sphere, which will be something else eventually, more than just a uh, uh, light blue or cyan sphere, that it starts creating terrain or along the tra trajectory of your shot. And for added measure, hopefully I can make it to the top without falling. Let's just show something else that is 
wasn't necessarily defined for, but is apparently a consequence of the way I'm doing this, which I'm pretty excited about what could happen going forward. And that is, we'll do that right there. All right, so we have our three different types. Let's load into the level and check them out. All right, so beautiful uh, balloons floating around that uh, will, you know, they don't look terrible. Well, they do and they don't. Um, anyway, yeah, placeholder art. So you see the blue ones, shoot it, creates terrain, because I don't want to shoot it more because now it's terrain. I can blast it. So this is ice, so I can't actually grab that, but I can land on it. And so you can see it's starting to have different ways of building levels. There's one we can grab. We'll get on there. And, oh, here's our trail. So if you shoot that, you can see it creates a trail. Well, if I knew how to jump, there we go. Oh. Uh, if you pl if you play the demo levels, you'll know this is the modified version of 2.4. It basically just ripped out a bunch of the level to add in these new features to show, or these new, I don't know what you call them, agents, show them off. And there we go. So here, you see I've got to aim. Currently don't have a retic reticle or any method of firing with the, there we go, the gun, but a little glitch there to fix. You can see it created a trail now. And you might notice also if you played earlier versions, it used to be a bit different of a bullet. I think this is likely going to be settled on as the bullet that you fire. I mean, graphically, it'll obviously be a lot more interesting. But I think having one form of ammunition is a better approach because it allows the game to be more about... Uh-oh. Um... Climbing, less about, you know, swapping through ammo. It just feels slower in, in that way. And I think something fast is more interesting. More about execu execution and uh, doing, well, for lack of a term, cool, badass moves than wondering what ammo type to use. Oh, and here's the trail, which is my favorite. So we'll see if we can get a good view when we do this. There is a trail, and I shoot, and then you see that it's creating a trail uh -oh. in the sky. A uh, little bit of a graphical thing going on there. I can you can see it's made a trail along the trajectory of the bullet. And so depending on my orientation to the target when I fire is how I can create a path in the level. Oh, so if you're wondering why it kind of disappeared and reappeared, it's an uh, optimization to not draw uh, the world when it's too far away, but it's a temporary solution. I'm eventually going to have a level of detail system where it'll still draw the terrain just at a lower resolution in the, in the distance to help with performance. I just haven't, haven't got around to that yet. Um, and it's it's part of a larger plan I have. I'm I'm actually working on it, uh, GTX 970. One, I don't have a better graphics card. Two, I'm not in a hurry to get one yet because I figure if I can run it on my machine, anybody can run it. Uh, and the way I'm interested in doing graphics in the future is to do more procedurally based graphics so that they can scale. So you know, somebody has a, a 380, 3080, they can just bump everything up to max and get all the uh, wonderful. Uh, procedural I guess results but it could still run on a on a slower machine as well all right so we see we've got our path let's just drop down here there we go and oh I was gonna yeah this last thing which I think is just an interesting consequence so these were the 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 paths where it draws a straight line so I will fire this one and go up there's a little glitch there and uh, that did not actually do what was expected. So let's go back to the level editor and do something about that. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, and what we're going to do is just cheat. You know what? Whoops. 
Oh yeah, a little bug there. Turn off the blaster when you're in the level editor. So let's just make our paths here and make sure they're close enough. So you'll fire, it'll draw to there. I'll just put it right on there. Fire and draw to there. Well, you know what? Let's just chain them together and see what happens. Play this level. Fire. And then you see it builds a path. But when it hit the other one, it actually triggered a path there. So there's a kind of a weird form of logic where um, these targets, when triggered, will trigger targets next to them. So the same would go for these, but there's really no point to add one next to it uh, because you can just add a path instead. I can't shoot. Jeez. All right. Jeez. But there you see it's it made three a sequence of three. And yeah, in future updates, I've got some, I think, really cool ideas on more uh, additions you can add to the level that I'm not talking about yet. But when those get added, you'll I, I, I hope uh, there'll start to be some really interesting ways that you can design levels. And you'll start to maybe see, you know, as you watch these videos, the different possibilities there. So that's a little cryptic. Sorry about that. I'm kind of distracted by, uh, oh, uh, trying to get this done. I took my dog. This is, has nothing to do with the game, but I took my dog on a walk, and he's a beagle, uh, and it's the squirrels are out again. So it was a disaster taking him to the park because uh, he's loses his mind when he sees a squirrel. So now I'm back trying to just get this done. Yeah, I'm just going to cut what I'm talking about right now. Okay, cut away for about a second, but I'm back, and that's it for the update. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in Discord. Otherwise, I'll uh, be back next week. See ya.